bien et pour finir bien. That's why we're trusting God that all things will start well and end well. Nous comptons pour nous dire, Pasteur Goss Famino. We were happy to see Brother Goss here amongst us. Malheureusement, sans il fait pas capable de trop. Unfortunately, his health caused him not to be able to stay for too long. Mais nan ti tan kout li passe a, nous senti nous content. But for that little time that he was with us, we felt happy. Et nous senti li gen la foi pour le continuer et quoi pour le prendre part dans plusieurs autres conventions encore. And we feel that he has the faith to be a part of many more meetings. Et m kwè si nou priye pou li, le Seigneur a prendre ça possible. And I believe that if we pray for him, the Lord will make that possible. Cependant, moi rappelé moi lorsque pasteur Ghost est convenu en Haïti. But I'm remembering when Pastor Goss used to come to Haiti. He was plein de force. He was full of strength. He used to go to preach in many of our assemblies. And almost every day he was at a service in a different assembly. Tellement bien. And today you're seeing that he cannot speak too well. Et Salomon fait déclaration ça. Solomon made the statement. C'est dans Ecclesiastes chapitre chapitre 7 là. It's in Ecclesiastes, I believe it's chapter 7. Et ça c'est chacun de nous qui besoin réfléchir. Every one of us ought to reflect on this. Uh, Peter said that we're just all pilgrims on this earth. The 14th verse says, in the day of prosperity, be joyful. But in the day of adversity, consider God also has set the one over against the other to the end that man should find nothing after him. <laughs> it says the day of prosperity, be joyful. And it says in the day of adversity, consider. And every one of us are on the way to get to a day like this. He was a very strong man in his body. Pastor Sherville, he also was a strong man. He could run up and down in this room, I remember at a time. There was an American evangelist who used to come visit us in Haiti. Brother Goforth. He always wanted Pastor Ernest to translate for him. And when he didn't see Pastor Ernest, he didn't feel too well. Because he was so strong. When he ran, he ran after him. When he jumped, he also jumped. But today, he's in another phase. And every one of us are on the way to be in the same condition. There was a time that I was strong in my body. I used to go wherever I wanted. I used to run however I wanted. But today I'm not able. And we have to accept that. That's just the law of life. That's the law of life. We all will have to get to that point. Let's remain in Ecclesiastes. Chapter 11. Verse 14. Verse 7. Verse 7. Forgive me. Ecclesiastes 11, verse 7. 
Ecclesiastes 11, verse 7. Truly the light is sweet. And a pleasant thing it is for the eyes to behold the sun. But if a man live many years. And rejoice in them all. Yet let him remember the days of darkness. For they shall be many. They shall be many. Et tout ce qui arrivera est vanité. And all that cometh is vanity. Well, même si vous avez vécu longtemps. See, even if you were to live a long time. Même si vous êtes fort. Even if you were to feel strong. Faut penser qu'un jour tu ne vas pas You have to also think that there are days of darkness to come. Un temps pour chaque chose. There is a time for everything. Un temps pour vivre. There's a time to live. Un temps pour jeune. There's a time to be young. Un temps pour there's a time for you to move on in age. There's a time where you'll be able to run and do everything. And there'll be a time where you'll need to lean on someone's shoulders. That's how it is. Now if you go down to the verse 9, chapter 12, verse 9, il dit avant les poussi- avant que la poussière retourne à la terre, Comme elle eut été, et que l'Esprit retourne à Dieu qui l'a donné. Chapter 12, verse 7. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the Spirit shall return unto God who gave it. Il écrit toute vanité. Vanity of vanity, said the preacher. Bien aimé, il y a un jour qui sentit que Genesio empêché au service, bon Dieu. Beloved, there are people here today who feel that their youth is holding them back from serving God. They feel that they're too young to give their time for God. They feel that they're too young to accept divine principles. And today you see that many young people no longer want to remain in church. They're profiting their youth because the world is calling them. But it says that in the days of joy, uh, days of, of, of prosperity, be joyful. And the days of adversity, consider. Because the Lord has made one against the other. The prophet Amos, he says in chapter 4, he says to prepare yourself for the meeting of your God. And that's what you're doing here today. When we're here, we're not just here to listen to the band playing. We're not just here to dance. Because when you're dancing, it's an internal joy that's being expressed outwardly. And that joy there is the joy of salvation. And that joy because of the hope of the Lord that he puts in you. It can be manifested even through afflictions. And you can be suffering and yet still manifesting that joy. That's why when you see that they took the apostles and they cursed them, they beat them, mistreated them, put them in prison. The Bible says that they left with joy. It's not as if they were men of uh, another nature than us. They felt the sufferings that we can feel. But they left with joy. Because the joy of salvation was in their heart. And what creates this joy of salvation is your hope in God. It's when you understand the word of God. It's when you're one working to reign with the Lord. Now let's go to Ephesians chapter 5. 
Romains chapitre 8 là. And at that time sufferance like Paul says in the 8th chapter of Romans. Apôtre Paul il dit la souffrance dit en présent ne saurait être comparé à la gloire à venir. Paul says that the present sufferings cannot compare to the glory to come. Souffrance ou rencontrer dans quoi ça? The sufferings that you're enduring in this body. À cause espérance ou dans bon Dieu. Because of your hope in God. Il pas capable de comparer avec gloire qui réservé pour vous. It cannot compare to the glory that's laid up for you. Et c'est pas parce qu'on va sentir souffrance là. It's not because you do not feel the suffering. Espérance ou dans bon Dieu, c'est encore une femme qui a souffrir douleur de l'enfantement. Our hope in God is likened unto a woman who's travailing. Et souffrance là, les dix boulis. The sufferance is hard for her. Mais à cause de l'espérance, les l'abtan bébé ça. But because of the hope of that baby. L'ab souffrir, mais l'ab souffrir avec espérance. She's suffering, but suffering with hope. Parce que l'ab espéré yon bébé. Because she's hoping for a baby. Et tout ça, l'ouel par la souffrance ça, c'est mandé, l'ab mandé, est-ce que bébé a en bonne santé? And even while she's going through that sufferance, all she's questioning herself is, is the baby in good health? Et c'est cette espérance les apôtres. And that was the hope of the apostles. Et c'est espérance nous toujours dit. And it's our hope as well today. Et nous à Paul Paul dans Acts chapitre 16 là. We see that Apostle Paul in Acts chapter 16. Et l'arrivé à Philippe, yo prend he got to Philippi. They took him and put him in prison. Because he rebuked an evil spirit on a woman. Et soulevé contre lui, ils prennent les mêmes axillas, ils mettent en prison. And they rose up against him and took him in silence and put him in prison. Ils pas seulement mettent en prison, mais ils étaient torturés. They didn't just put them in prison, but they tortured them. Et ils étaient battus. They beat them. Ils ont battu avec un asso. And they beat them with whips. Et sans ils ont coulé. Their bloods were flowing. Ça pas suffit, ils mettent en cachot. And not only that, but they put them in prison. Et Mal dormi, souffri. They didn't sleep well. They were suffering. Mais la Bible dit dans le chapitre 16, verset 25. But the Bible says in chapter 16, verse 25. Il dit vers le milieu de la nuit, ils ont commencé à chanter les louanges. The Bible says that in the middle of the night, they started to sing. Ils commencé à chanter louanges, bon Dieu. They sang praises unto God. Et pas pas, ils ont accablé mes bon Dieu. They could have blamed God. They were missionaries going to preach the word of God. And that woman that even had that evil spirit was just testifying that these were men who came to bring salvation. And now they found themselves in prison. Ouais, peut-être ça t'a fait à blâmer bon Dieu. That could have caused them to blame God. Il y a des gens qui pensent que le fait que les chrétiens ne doivent pas souffrir. There's some people they think because they're Christian they should not suffer. Mais on est obligé de souffrir. But you have to suffer. On est obligé malade. You ha- you have to be sick. Non, qu'à souffrir. But you can suffer. Et on est arrivé vers le milieu de la nuit à chanter le roi. Bible Dieu. says that at midnight they were singing praises unto God. Et c'est ça que fait Apôtre Paul, il fait déclaration ça, toutes choses concourent bien de ce qui est. And that's why Paul says that all things work together for good for they that love God. C'est à travers souffrance ça, bon Dieu, tu as la naissance à l'église ça. And it was through this suffering that God was going to give birth to that church. Et il dit un homme qui était bon côté, qui était très courageux tout. And he found a man that was courageous by his side. Ouais, l'eau a servi bon Dieu au papi au sous monde qui faible. You see when you're serving God, you can't lean on weak people. You can't lean on people that are complaining. But you need strong people by your side. Silas, who was by Paul's side, was a strong man. That's why when they were in that time, they did not discourage one another. The same way as Peter and John. Donc on est après au fin guéri la belle porte. After the healing at Gate Beautiful. Et comment ils ont été pris au milieu de prison? And how they took them and put them in prison. Ils ont été battus. They beat them. Mais les ont sorti de prison ils ont commencé à louer bon Dieu. But when they came out of that prison they started praising God. Sans couler sous yo. Their blood was shed. Mais ils dit quel honneur pour nous sortir outragés pour le nom de Jésus. But they said what an honor for them to curse us for the name of the Lord. Apôtre Paul, apôtre Pierre. Peter said that if we are cursed because of the name of Christ, we should not be ashamed. But yet glorify God. 
That's why serving God, there is suffering. But the present sufferings cannot compare to the glory to come. And that's the hope of God. It puts joy in your heart. Paul says in Romans 12 that in the midst of sufferings to rejoice. Everyone, when you're going through a difficult time, is not sweet. But when you will look and think of the glory to come, Paul going up to Jerusalem. La monte à Jérusalem, il va le marrer, il va l'outrager lui. A prophet took Paul's belt, bind up her hands and feet and said whoever is the owner of this belt, this is how they're going to bind him up in Jerusalem. Et Paul te gain quelque monde avec lui, dit Paul, c'est assez pour lier et and Paul had some people with him and said, Paul, that's your belt. That's waiting for you. And they told him that it's better for you not to go up to Jerusalem. Paul says, I'm not only ready to suffer, but I'm ready to die for the name of the Lord. Because these people had a hope in the Lord. They didn't see suffering. Because they saw the kingdom to come. Paul says that if it was hommes. in this life alone that I would hope for I'll be amongst all men most miserable that's why today we need to put our hope in God everything that's in this world is temporal it's things that will pass by we sing a song that says I don't want nothing here to hinder me sometimes you can say it but you'll meet things that will try to hinder you. But if you're determined to serve God, there's revelation on the great plan of God. Then you'll suffer, but you'll rejoice in the suffering. People of God, we're on the way. We're on the way to perfection. God will not give us eternal life just anyhow. No matter how you see that the world is turning, God is still waiting for people to attain perfection. No matter the situations. It's true there are many things that want to hold you in the way. God will not change the times for you. For you to become an overcomer, you have to fight to become an overcomer. It says that the coward shall not inherit the kingdom of God. There's some people that start on this way and they stop. Apostle Paul had a disciple with him in the ministry named Cephas. Demas, he said, Demas, he said, Demas abandoned me for the things present. Demas, he said, he abandoned me for the love of this present world. But Paul says that the sufferings of this present world cannot compare to the glory to come. That's why today, people of God, God needs men and women. God needs young people that are ready to leave it all to follow the Lord. And a young group of young people that don't want to follow after the world. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 10. It says that if sinners are led astray, there are, there are sinners that will be led astray. We see that there are many sinners that want to lead many of the youth astray. But you need to resist them. Don't allow them to, to scatter you. Paul said this to Timothy. It's in the second epistle of Timothy. Chapter 
Deuxième Timothée chapitre 3. Second Timothy chapter 3. Yeah. C'est chapitre 2 verset 22. Chapter 2 verse 22. OK. Lis pour moi bien aimé. If a beloved can read that for me. Ça dit. Oui, ou même jeune, c'est pour courir. Il dit fuir la passion. Courir. He says to flee also youthful lust. Donc, oui, jeunesse, tu as voulu gagner. You see, when they're sinners, they want to entice you. Vous voulez dérouter. They want to lead you astray. Vous voulez faut quitter les droits chemins. They want you to leave the right path. Vous faut vous voulez vous voulez attirer pour abandonner l'église. They want to attract you to abandon church. Il y a beaucoup de conseils pour venir vers vous. They're giving you counsel to come to them. Regardez ta yo même. Look at them. Est-ce que vous pouvez bien passer au vieux? Are they better than you? I won't imitate those that are worse than me. I'm not going to follow people who have not succeeded. When the young person tells you to come and follow them. But look at you and look at them and see who's better. L'enfant prodigue, il quitte car il pas parlé, il allait vivre dans le débauche. The prodigal son left his father's house to go live in debauchery. Mais là, il vient au moment, il dit, me songe la caille. But when he got to a point where he remembered home. Me songe comment il était bien la caille. You remember how he was well at home. Oh, l'église. In church. Ou parmi le peuple de Dieu. Amongst the people of God. Getting dressed, coming to church, playing in the band, amongst the people of God, to be a part of the highest society, the people of God, when you're sick, they're praying for you, and even if doctors condemn you, but when you see these people stand to pray for you, and they could have even said that you will die. God. But with your confidence in God, with the people of God praying for you, you can answer and say, I shall not die. I shall live. And I shall declare the works of the Lord. Because our God is in heaven. He does all that he wills on heaven and on earth. When you're serving this God, in the 31st Psalm, David dit, my destiny is it's David says that my destiny is in your hands. It's, it's not doctors that said you'll die and you'll die. It's not a person that wants to see you dead. That's why you'll die. Because your destiny is in the hands of the Lord. But you need to be a true servant of God. God has to know you. When Lazarus died, Jesus says, Lazarus, our friend is asleep. Jesus, uh, Lazarus made his friend, himself a friend of Christ before he died. And Jesus says that he will resurrect Lazarus. There are many others that died. But when Jesus came, he called Lazarus by his own name. Because Jesus says that he knows his sheep and his sheep know his voice. When Jesus called Lazarus, Lazarus heard Jesus' voice. And Lazarus came out of the grave. Because he was a friend of Jesus. He didn't wait until he went to lay down in the grave. He didn't wait for after death for them to send him to heaven. There are some people that are waiting for after their death when they're doing their funeral to send them to heaven. But you have to prepare yourself ever since now. The king Hezekiah was sick. He was sick unto death. And one of the great prophets came to pronounce the death sentence over Isaiah said that you will not get off of this bed. You will die according to the order of the Lord. But he presented before the Lord with his faithfulness. He said, Lord, remember how I served 
served you faithfully. Songe, aime jeune, you. Remember how I served you in my youth. Et puis, il le and he started crying before the Lord. Le seigneur, oui, the fait. Lord saw that he was not lying. Le seigneur, oui, the Lord saw that Hezekiah was sincere. Et puis, le seigneur, oui, même prophète, là. And the Lord sent the same prophet. Il a dit, il a to go and tell him that he'll continue to live. Moi, ajouté 15 ans sous la vie I've added 15 more years to his life. Le the Lord can add days to our lives. Le docteur, dou, la vie fini pour when doctors tell you that your life is over. Le tout docteur, ouais, la vie fini pour and when doctors see that your life is over. Et te en fait le but you already made yourself a friend of the Lord. Ouais dans le and you already believed in the Lord. Te la vie, te zami, le and you made your life, you made yourself a friend of the Lord. Peur, bon Dieu, and vous. the people of God begin to pray for you. Ouassezi. You'll be astonished. And you'll see that they will have to come and say something else. You'll see there's another exam that will be done. And the doctors will then testify, I don't understand what has happened. There's something that has happened. Yes, they cannot understand it. Because natural man cannot understand spiritual things. It's a mystery for him. When you're serving God, Avec assurance. You walk with assurance. Solomon dit, Lord, dormi sommeil ou va douce. Psalm says that when you sleep, you sleep sweetly. Même le coucher ou aller coucher remettre comme ça dans la poussière. Even when you go lay down and you hand this body over to dust. Parce que nous tous gain pour nous passer par là. Because we all will have to go that way. Mais le pas dormi même j'ai avec les autres. But you won't sleep like others. Paul dit comme ça non pas comme les autres. Paul says that we don't weep like others. Qui pas espérance. Without hope. Le wal couché, le le wal couché dans la poussière, c'est pas ça. Il dit à cap la vie. When you sleep in the dust, it's not what they're saying that will give you life. Mais c'est j'ont rangé la vie avec le Seigneur. But it's how you arrange your life with the Lord. Allons continuer, bien aimé. Let's continue. Li di courir pour passion jeunesse ça. Says flee also youthful lust. Jeunesse ça la passionné le mal. The passions of evil. La passionné tout bagay ki mal. They have passions for evil things. La indiou nan bagay ki malhonnête. They're trying to lead you into dishonest things. La bankourajo désobéi parents. Encouraging you to disobey your parents. Apostle Paul nan Ephésiens chapitre 6 la. Apostle Paul in Ephesians chapter 6. Il dit enfants obéissez à vos parents. Says children obey your parents. Selon le Seigneur. According to the Lord. Car cela est juste. That's the righteous law. Cela est juste. It says this is righteous. Avec une promesse. And then there's a promise there. Que va vivre he says that you will live long days. Va vivre sur la terre. And you'll be blessed on the earth. Mais Lord, but tout. when you disobey your parents, va sur you'll vous. attract curses on va you. You'll lose all of these privileges. That's why today you see young people are dying. I don't know ap mouri 30 ap mouri l'église I don't believe to see 15 people in 15 years old 20s in their 30s dying in churches Leur mouri ça va faire bataille When they die what are they going to do under the earth Leur jeune moun mouri ka louer ka bay bon Dieu gloire ka chanter ka jouer instrument pour la gloire de Dieu La Bible dit pas gain ni œuvre ni science ni repentance pour ça au cap dormir dans la tombe. The Bible says when you when you're a young person you can play you can give God wor- worship you can dance before the Lord but the Bible says that when you die there is no praise there's no knowledge no science in the grave. Ou wè ou ka poser les ces questions ça. You see you can question the Lord on Lord that. Lorsque malade ou senti ou dans route pour la mort. When you're sick and you find yourself on your way to death. Ou gen doit dire Seigneur ça me va le faire en bataille. You can say Lord what am I going to do under the earth? Ça me va le faire pour en bataille. What can I do for you under the earth? What can I do for you under the earth, Lord? Can I sing for you under the earth? Can I dance in your presence under the earth? Can I glorify your name under the earth? When you see you pray that way, if you were faithful, if you were sincere, if you were real in God, something will happen. There was something that was not here that will happen. I said there was something that will happen. Because you're reminding the Lord how you used to serve him. The Bible says that God is not unjust to forget your works and the love that you showed to the household of faith. God will remember your works. Young people, God will remember what you're doing. Singers that are singing, God will remember you. Preachers that are preaching, 
blessing, God will Ou remember you. Temps, vous Those that have given you. your time, God will remember it. Non seulement jour, Not malade. only will he remember when you're sick. Mais si vous coucher, tout. But even if you go down in the grave, he will remember you. You don't go to sleep like others. The Lord had a given sign of all those that sleep in the Lord. The Bible says that Stephen went to sleep. Paul says that I want you to be in ignorance according to those that are in sleep. When you go to sleep, you're not dead. The world dies, but you sleep. And if you sleep, you will wake up. You'll resurrect. You'll come back again. We sing the song, When I Die, I'll Live Again. Oh, it's a beautiful song. But there's a work for you to do to receive that resurrection. John says, Blessed are those that die in the Lord. They shall rest from their works. But their works will follow after them. What you used to do for God will follow after you. What you sowed, you shall reap. The Lord will not abandon you. But if you allow the youth out there to entice you, to you, you started serving God. You started singing for God. You started playing music for God. And now the young people out there start to entice you. They start to counsel you. They start to tell you to come to them. Uh, Paul has counsel for you here. He dit c'est pour courir pour yo. He says to flee from them. You see, there's something someone tells you need to flee from it. There's some counsel someone gives to you, you flee from it. He says flee from them. He says follow righteousness. Righteousness is to do things right. Do things according to the will of God. If you speak, you speak according to righteousness. Everything that you do, you do it according to righteousness. You need to do it right. Pratiquer la justice. Practice righteousness. Et c'est ça que fait Jésus. Il dit c'est pour justice nous si passer. That's why autres. Jesus says that your righteousness has to surpass. Pour si passer. Has to surpass them. Pas garder mes justices qui dans le monde. Don't look at the measure of righteousness in the world. Où est le capable de mesurer des justices dans le monde? They may have a measure of righteousness. Mais le Seigneur dit c'est pour les justices nous dépasser. But the Lord told us that our righteousness has to surpass theirs. Et ça fait nous pas qu'apprendre de nous-mêmes. That's why we can't learn from them. Mais c'est où doit apprendre de nous-mêmes. But they have to learn from us. Il dit c'est pour justice nous. Rechercher la justice. He says follow righteousness. La joie. La foi. Faith. On prend la foi, la foi, la Bible et la Bible dit la foi qui a été transmise une fois pour tout au sein. It says faith that was delivered unto saints once and for all. La foi pour mener un vainqueur. Faith to make you an overcomer. La foi pour capable résister contre toutes sortes de tentations. Faith to resist all temptations. La Bible dit pour qu'on résiste jusqu'au sang contre les péchés. The Bible says that we haven't resisted until blood against sin. Les jeunes chrétiens aujourd'hui ont besoin de résister jusqu'au sang luttant contre les péchés. Young Christians today have to resist until blood against sin. Faut préparer pour rencontrer le Seigneur. Prepare yourself to meet the Lord. Il dit c'est pour c'est pour lui demander c'est pour c'est pour gagner la foi, chercher la foi. It says follow faith. Pour chercher la charité. Follow at the charity. La paix. Peace. Oh, it's not seeking it with those out there. It's not with the young people out there. But with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Ça veut dire que les gens qui ont cœur pur, but with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. It says, "Blessed are those who have a pure heart, for they shall see God." Those who have a pure heart, they will see God. Those who have a pure heart will enter with the Lord into glory. Those who have a pure heart will enter with the Lord into glory. People of God. Paul says that if it was in this life alone that we would hope. I'll be most miserable among all men. Our hope is not of this world. That's why John. I believe it's in 1 John 2. 
Verse 15. He tells us to love not the world. Ni les choses qui sont dans le monde. Nor the things which are in the world. Et puis il dit tout ça qui est dans le monde. For all that is in the world. C'est la convoitise de la chair. It's the lust of the flesh. La convoitise des yeux. Lust of the eyes. L'orgueil de la vie. And the pride of life. Qui va venir de Dieu. These things are not of God. Qui vient de le monde. They come from the world. Et le monde a passé. Then the Lord will pass Et away. Et toute bagaille ça a passé avec you. And all that is with it will pass by. Comment? Monde qui fait la volonté de Dieu. Those that do the will of God. Comment? Il va demeurer éternellement. They will dwell eternally. Qui sauve-le? What do you want? Obéir le monde. Obey the world. Habillé même avec eux. Dress as they do. Bah ils mentent même ils bah ils mentent. Lie as they do. Bien aimé, il est triste. Beloved is sad. Lorsque les chrétiens ouais le monde abdil ça vous le dit. When you see their Christians, the world is telling them what to say. Le monde a montré le bail menti. The Lord, world is training them to lie. Le monde a montré le truc pour le faire. The world is teaching them tricks to do. Jésus dit vous êtes la lumière du monde. Jesus says that you are the light of the world. Vous êtes la lumière du monde. You are the light of the world. You don't light a light to hide under a bushel. But you put it on a candlestick. So that it can shine all those that are in darkness. The world has to see the light that's in you. They have to see your good works. So that they can glorify God in heaven. You're not going to shine on someone else out there. Jesus says, I'm not praying to you, Father, to Take them out of the world. Mais les du monde. But keep them from this world. That's why this is where we need to overcome. It's here for us to stop lying. It's here for we used to steal to stop stealing. It's here for we used to be adulterers to stop adultering. It's here for we used to be liars to stop lying. It's here for we were tricksters to stop being tricksters. It's here for we used to be liars to stop lying. It's here to tell the truth. A true Christian, when you pray, you say, Lord, help me never la to lie. Because the Bible Dieu. says that the lie should not inherit the kingdom of God. There's not a big lie nor a small lie. There's not a big lie nor a small lie. There's a big lie nor a small lie. There's not a big lie nor a small lie. There's not a big lie nor a small lie. There's not a big lie nor a small lie. There's not a big lie nor a small lie. There's not a big lie nor a small lie. There's not a big lie nor a small lie. There's not a big lie nor a small lie. There's not a big lie nor a small lie. There's not a big lie nor a small lie. There's not a big lie nor a small lie. There's not a big lie nor a small lie. The youthful lust. If you see this world wants to entice you, flee. Call upon the name of the Lord with those that are calling on His name. Because we're just passing by. Let's go to Psalm 39. David felt that he was traveling through this world. And he knew that he had an appointment to leave this world. And he asked the Lord this question. He asked the Lord the, the Lord a question. Look at what he said here. Psalms 39. Verse 4. It says my heart was hot within me. Bien aimé, Beloved, I'm telling you. Sometimes you feel your heart is burning. <laughs> you feel your heart is hot. Because the Lord won't make the bed shorter. God is a God of principles. What he asks you to do to be saved, you have to do it. There's some that think that God will change things for them. Let me tell you something. God is capable to prosper naturally. God can make you prosper naturally. There's some principles if you follow after them, God will allow you to prosper. For example, if a person is in the church, they give their tithes and they cooperate financially, God will allow you to prosper. But that cannot give you eternal life. That can't give you eternal life. 
There are many things if you do them. It says obey your mother and father, respect them. It says that you'll live long days and be blessed on the earth. You'll prosper. If you obey your parents. But you need to hear the ministers of God. You need to hear the word of God. Just like Cornelius. Cornelius did many good deeds. And the angels of heaven, they, they testified of Cornelius. He never wanted to see anyone hungry. He never wanted to see anyone in need. And he satisfied the needs of all those who were in need. But that wasn't enough to give him eternal life. He needed to meet Peter to teach him the commandments of God to teach him the truth to accept to be baptized in water to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost the Bible says that the arms that he gave the Lord saw them all that was Acts chapter 10 but that was not enough to give him eternal life he needed to find Apostle Peter to teach him the word of God. There's some things you'll do, you'll prosper naturally. But to have eternal life, you need to respect the divine principles. It says that if the athlete does not fight according to the rules, they will not be crowned. There's a, a rules that you have to follow. You need to allow the word of God to lead you. All the things that you do, you need to do them according to the will of God. Isaiah 28, it says that we have righteousness as a level. And it says uprightness as a rule. Ever since now, you need to do this exercise. Because we're going to rule with the Lord in a perfect kingdom. We're going to rule with the angels. That's why it's not a place where you can come in anyhow. No matter how many pastors come to your funeral, no matter how many choirs come to sing, no matter how many musicians come to play, that will not give you an iota in the kingdom of God. But you need to prepare yourself. Prepare yourself for the meeting of your Lord. Because you'll meet the Lord someday. David was living. He asked his question. He says, my heart was hot within me. While I was musing, the fire burned. Then spake I with my tongue. Eternal. Lord, make me to know my end. I'm going to tell you, beloved, when you're living with good health, you have good savings, everything looks like they're going well, you have a good job, you're working well, you're making good money, you're driving a beautiful car, living in a beautiful home, that can fool you, make you to forget that you have a meeting with death. Everyone here has a meeting with death. Yeah, but death is a way that we all must travel. It's not because you want to go through it. There's some who wouldn't want to go that way. There's some who would never want to go that way. But it's a way that we all must travel. Mais but we will definitely go through it. You're living, there's no question, will I die? It's true that the Bible says that we shall not all die. It says we all shall not die. There's some that the Lord come that they will not die. I'm a candidate. I don't know if I'll pass or not. 
I'm a candidate to not die amongst those that are waiting for the return of the Lord and we shall not all die I'm a candidate but Paul says that if we live, we live for the Lord. And if we die, we die for the Lord. If I'm a candidate, if I go to sleep, I'll sleep in the Lord. But while I'm yet alive, the Lord cannot come get me without me ever going to dust. But my duty is to prepare myself. Whether I die, I die for the Lord. I resurrect as a dead in Christ. If I live, I'll come up as the one who is living in the Lord. But woe unto me if I allow this world to entice me to lead me astray from the will of the Lord. And to lead me into evil. To follow their counsel. No, if sinners want to entice you, don't let them entice you. If your husband is a sinner and wants to entice you, don't let him entice you. If, if your wife is like Job's wife and wants to entice you, don't let her win you over. Because you have a hope before you. You have a goal ahead of you. There's a place that you want to get to and the measure of my days and the measures of my days how long days how many long days do you have don't allow anything to entice you to fool you in this world don't cause anything to make you forget that you have that meeting David was the king in Israel but he asked this question he says Lord what are the measure of my days how many more days do I have left in Psalm 90 in Psalms 90, Moses says to the Lord, teach me to number my days. You have to number your days. Your days are not numbered in the money that you have in your bank account. Your days are not numbered in the amount of houses that you have. Nor the type of car that you're driving. Your days are numbered by living a holy life. When you live a righteous life. When you live a purified life, when you're one that's running towards perfection, that's when you start to number your days. Although we have to work, we have to work. There's nothing wrong with working. There's nothing wrong with gaining your bread. There's nothing wrong with having savings. But remember that will not help you to enter to the kingdom of God. And what will help you to enter the kingdom of God is when you're numbering your days properly in the Lord. Teach us, Lord, to number our days. We need to number our days. Young people in the body of Christ, number your days. Men in the body of Christ, number your days. Don't let anything remove your hope in God. Don't become modernized with this world. The, this world is running towards judgment. The world is ready for judgment. It's the church that's late. That's why the ministry has to keep the church awake. Paul says in Ephesians 5 verse 14. It says, awake, awake thou from your slumber. Awake from the dead. Christ shall shine upon thee. It's time for Christians to wake up today. This church is in a condition of slumber. You're not in a state of death. But I'm going to tell you something. What you frequent is what you are. What you frequent is what you are. And you stay around the world, if you're living according to the world, 
senti la mort. Then you smell like death. Paul dit concernant 2 Corinthiens chapitre 2. Paul says in 2 Corinthians chapter 2. Hey, moi verset 14 là. I believe it's in the 14th verse. Il dit il odeur de mort donne la mort. Il odeur de mort. It says the uh, odor of death. Donne la mort. Gives death. Il odeur de vie. And a savior life. Donne la vie. Gives life. Il dit non. But it says we. Nous, nous la bonne odeur de Christ. We are the sweet savor of Christ. Où doit la bonne odeur de Christ? We ought to be the sweet savor of Christ. Le monde n'a pas gagné odeur de Christ. The world does not have the savor of Christ. Mais vous même. But you, you need to have the good savor of Christ. Wherever they go, they can smell Christ. In your speech, action, in your actions, attitude, in your attitude, in how you buy, pay, in how you pay, in van, how you sell. They need to see Christ in you. Parmi mon qui sauve yo. And amongst those, amongst those that are saved and those that perish, that means those out there, they need to see Christ in you. Do you know there are Christians that are allowing the world to rebuke them? Have you ever seen a place where a person in the world is not a Christian, you a Christian, you, a Christian, you do this, I would never do that. Do you know that when you let a worldly person rebuke you, Balaam Balaam lost God's vision. He was blinded by the love of money. He lost the vision of God. Because the offer they made to him blinded him. He forgot the order of God. God closed off this relationship with them. God left them as a prophet. He used a donkey. It's a donkey that taught him. It's a donkey that taught him wisdom. Whenever as a Christian, you lose the vision of God. And it's a worldly person rebuking you. They do not have God. You're just like Balaam. You're in the same state as Balaam. Because the Bible says that beastly man or natural man cannot understand spiritual things. When a person who does not have the vision of God rebuking you on things that you do, at that time you're being taught by a donkey. You're learning wisdom from a donkey. What else does it say? He said that I may know how frail I am. People of God, you're frail. Some people forget that they're frail. You're frail. We're frail. Um, we're I was just speaking to you about Pastor Gus. I remember when he used to go to Haiti, how strong he was. I used to be strong in my body. I used to run wherever I wanted. Walk as far as I wanted. Went up mountains, went down mountains. But now I have an old cane with me. C'est pour agilité, I'm frail. And we're walking on the way of the earth. Whether we're going or not going. Paul says that if this tabernacle that we live is dissolved. That's 2 Corinthians chapter 5. If this tabernacle that we dwell in is dissolved. It returns into dust. It says that we have a building made of God's hands. That's why we're working. This, this will go back into the earth. But the Lord told Adam, thou art dust, and unto dust, that shall return. You'll go back no matter how. But prepare yourself for the return of your Lord. It says, behold, <laughs> He says, behold, I have made my days as in hand breath. There are not many. Don't trust this body so much. Fix your life. 
pour la vie à venir. For the life to come. La Bible dit nous va comme des anges. The Bible says we'll be as angels. Moi mes versets ça. I love that scripture. Et c'est dans Luc. It's in Luke. Chapitre. C'est chapitre 21. I think it's in chapter 21. 21 verset 36 là. Luke 21 verse 36. Regardez voici si c'est ça. Espérance pas non. This is our hope. L'aime li chapitre ça verset ça ça fait que me content. When I read this chapter this verse it makes me happy. Ça il dit comme ça on a point verset 34 là. Non, Take, non, 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 c'est pas lui. Et moi, il dit comme ça. Non, non. Il est là, c'est chapitre 20. Hein. Mm. Jésus l'a répondu. Les hommes de ce siècle. Et les pharisiens, les sadducéens. Les pharisiens et les sadducéens. Et ils ont venu poser Jésus une question concernant la résurrection. They came to ask Jesus a question on the resurrection. Parce que les sadducéens pas de quoi dans la résurrection. Because the Sadducees didn't believe in the resurrection. Mais les pharisiens étaient quoi dans la résurrection. But the Pharisees believed in it. Et c'est comme ça qu'ils ont posé Jésus une question. And then they came to question Jesus on it. Question de poser Jésus. The question they asked Jesus. Là où mourir. When you die. Là où mourir dans la résurrection. When you die in the resurrection. Est-ce que vous madame ou avez ou bien est-ce que madame n'a pas mari la veille? Will you take your your wife with you or will the wife take her husband with her? Et mais comment ont été préparé question pour poser Jésus? And here's how they prepared the question to ask Jesus. Je dis Jésus nous connaît qu'un homme madame les mariés il pas quitter petite. Jesus says that we know that there was a man, he was married, he died, and he didn't have any children. Because the law of Moses says that if you are married, you are not 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 married. And according to the law of Moses, if you died and didn't have any children, your brother had to marry your wife to raise up a seed to continue your name. Et puis, you are Jesus, we know that there is a woman who is married with your family. And they told Jesus that we know a woman that was married to a man. The first man died and he didn't have any children. Selon la loi, deuxième frère vit marier avec elle. And then according to the law, the second one came and took her. Et deuxième frère a mouru, il pas il pas qui débitit. The second died, didn't leave any children. Troisième frère a vit marier avec elle. The third married her. Troisième frère a mouru, il pas qui débitit. The third died, didn't leave any children. Moi j'ai mis ça au tableau, moi même pas d'abîmer moi même. Those men were brave. I would have gone there. The first, second, third. No, I wouldn't have done it. The law of Moses says you have to have children. 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 Have you ever heard this in Haiti that if a woman married seven times, they died in her hands, then she can't marry anymore? Et, this is where they got it from. Et puis là, il dit, femme ça, tu as sept fois, tous les sept mariés avec lui, tous les sept mourus, et finalement, femme n'a mouru tout. And so they said, uh, they told Jesus that this woman married seven of the seven of the brothers, all seven died, and finally now the woman died. Et puis il dit Jésus à la résurrection puisque tous les sept mariés à la résurrection qui laisse qu'abgé madame non. And so then they told Jesus, well, at the resurrection, since all seven married her, uh, at the resurrection, whose wife will she be? Et puis Jésus bah il répond ça. And now Jesus gave them the answer. Mais ça Jésus dit au. Jésus answering said unto them. Les deux mondes qui vivent dans ce siècle. The children of this world. Il y a une femme pour un mari, mari, tout le monde. La Bible dit n'est pas bon que l'homme soit seul, chaque homme est au madame, chaque madame est au mari. Et ce que je veux dire, mon qui trouvait digne pour gagner part dans le siècle à venir, mais ceux qui seront reconnus pour obtenir ce monde, à la résurrection des morts, lorsque Jésus va venir porter résurrection pour ça, et la résurrection des morts, lorsque Jésus va venir porter résurrection pour ça, et la résurrection des morts, lorsque Jésus va venir porter résurrection pour ça, et la résurrection des morts, pas gagner ni mari qui a cherché coup de madame yo yé pas gagner ni madame qui a cherché coup de mari yo yé. There will not be husbands seeking their wives, no wives seeking their husbands. Quand on a une femme, les maris la mouille, les maris avec eux, maris non. Si quoi prend l'autre fille non? 
There's some women when they're getting ready to die, they tell their husband, don't get married, don't take another woman. Get married, get married, madame, n'est tout dit, chérie, l'est marié, t'en prie, pas pour l'autre gars. Don't take another man. Pensez qu'à la résurrection, il parle de madame ça. Thinking that at the resurrection, they'll have that wife. C'est faux. That's false. Oh man, vous mettez marié après trois mois, elle met pour l'autre monde. Uh, they could die after three months, go take someone else. You're not sinning. The society may blame you. As long But when a brother has their husband or wife that died, uh, before I marry you, I have to investigate to find out if you didn't cause them to die. Yes, if you cause them to die, I won't marry you. Alors pour nous continuer, Jésus dit qu'on ça la résurrection pas gain monde ni parce que c'est la espérance nous hier, ça met la joie dans cœur. This is where our hope is. This is what put joy in our heart. Parce que nous pas mourir, nous pas mourir. Neither can they die anymore. Parce qu'on va rentrer dans nouveau corps, on pas jamais mourir encore. Cuz at that resurrection you'll never die. Ou assemblé avec les anges. You'll be equal unto the angels. Ou comme les anges. You'll be equal to the angels. Ou comme vie angélique. You have an angelic body. You'll never get old. Nous sommes vieux longtemps, tu es un bon petit garçon. I remember before I used to be a handsome young man. Tu as un bel cheveu. Beautiful hair, beautiful face. I was a handsome young man. But little by little, I had moles started coming on my face. My, my hair started getting gray. And when people see you, they say, Young man, look at that young man. Now they say, Old man. Old man. That's how it is. That's how it is. Mais lorsque nous va arriver dans lieu ça. But when we get to that place. Lorsque nous va revêtir d'immortalité. We'll be clothed with immortality. Il dit qu'on ça nous va vivre comme les anges. Then we'll live as angels. Ou pas jamais vieillir, ou pas jamais mourir encore. You'll never get old. You'll never Ou va de fils de Dieu comme les anges. You'll be the children of God. The children of the resurrection. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Maintenant C'est la espérance non yeah. That's where our hope is. Paul Paul dit c'est dans vie ça m'ta espérer m'ta plus miserable. Paul says that if we were to hope in this life we'll be amongst all men most miserable. N'importe monde qui a espéré seulement dans vie ça sont misérables. Anyone that's only hoping in this life you'll be miserable. Mais faut préparer pour résurrection ça. But prepare for the resurrection. Pour résurrection pour les justes. There's a resurrection of the just. Faut faut travailler pour lui. You need to work for it. Faut préparer pour lui. You need to prepare for it. Puis les sauvages chantent les mourir ma vie encore. Then you'll sing when I die I shall live again. Les mourir ma vie encore. When I die I'll live again. Comment on va vivre encore? How will you live again? Faut te préparer. It's the way that you prepare yourself. Comment on va vivre jeune? How will you live young people? Comment on va se préparer? Let's prepare ourselves. Dans la parole de Dieu. Hear the word of God. Pas quitter jeunesse, pas quitter jeunesse dans les monde gaillé non. Don't let the young people in the world entice you. Les 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 gars au courir pour when they come to entice you, flee from their lust. Because their passions will lead you to perdition. But you, they find the revelation of the word of God. You that's walking in light. Paul says you are darkness. Now you are light. Walk as children of light. Walk as children of light. Don't walk as children of darkness. All that you do, do it as children of light. When you buy, buy as children of light. Pay. Pay. When you borrow, borrow as the children of light. Remet. Return it. There's pe- Christians who don't like to Ou repay their debts. Sauve. You won't be saved. Christians who do not pay back their debts will not Christians be saved. Christians who buy and do not pay won't Dans be saved. Oui, oui, let non. your yes be yes soit and non. let your no be no. And if you add, it comes from the evil mm, one. D'achete. If I bought, Moi, frère, I had brother Gigardi. Mm, de, 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 I told him I'll pay him. C'est pour I have to pay him back. If I borrowed from him, I told him I'll pay him back. I have to pay him back. If I don't pay back, I'm a liar. God won't give me eternal life. God bless you. When storms around me wage, 
He walks beside me. His hands guide me. I'm trusting Jesus to lead me all the way. My hope is anchored in the walk of ages. He is my refuge when storms around me wage. He walks beside me. His hands guide me. I'm trusting Jesus to lead me all the way. My hope is anchored in the work of ages. He is my refuge when storms around me wage. He walks beside me. He hands guide me. I'm trusting Jesus to lead me all the way. My hope is anchored in the work of ages. He is my refuge when songs around me wage. He walks beside me. He has got me. I'm trusting Jesus to lead me all the way. My hope is anchored in the work of ages. He is my refuge when songs around me wage. He walks beside me. He has got me. I'm trusting Jesus to lead me all the way. Jésus, pour le 
Oh 
Yeah. 